What's up guys, Lore here, and I have a surprise for you. So, for a while now I've been working on trying to get something, some sort of regular content coming up on my YouTube channel. Uh, I obviously have the StarCraft stuff, which that is going to be more regular going forward. I've, I've managed to get a much more regular source of replays now, so I'm going to be able to put out games a lot, but that was kind of the holdup before, was just not having replays. Have a much, much larger and more regular source of replays now, so I will be able to put out a lot more games on my YouTube channel of StarCraft 2 matches, especially Heart of the Swarm matches, uh, but I, I've wanted to do something else as well. Uh, and that's kind of the idea that I was going with originally with On Tap, but as that series has sort of grown into its own, which happens, you know, you, you come out with a new series and it, it just kind of, it takes on a life of its own. And like the first few episodes, you're kind of trying to figure out exactly, that. I went through the same thing with The Weekly Marmot, went through the same thing with PSD. As On Tap has continued to grow, uh, it's kind of become apparent that On Tap needs to be something where... I'm not necessarily forcing myself into making one. It needs to be something that when I'm excited about a game, I'll put together an on-tap for it so that I can share that excitement with you guys. Not something that I should ever be putting myself in the position of, okay, I need to get out an on-tap. Let's just go find some random game and talk about that, right? It always needs to be something, on-tap at least, always needs to be something that you guys can know when you pull up an on-tap that the game inside is good, or at least I think it's good, and I'm going to explain to you guys why I think it's so good. I like on tap being that kind of content, but I still want to come out with some regular gaming related content. And I've been looking around a whole bunch of different ideas and, and tossing a whole bunch of stuff around. And it's kind of funny how this, this actually all worked together. I was really thinking hard about this while I was playing Shadowgun on my phone the other day. Right, I was playing. I was sitting there playing Shadowgun, which is a, a third-person shooter. That's actually it's like a 3D third-person shooter on the phone. Uh, and I was playing that the other day. And I was like, man, this is this is really fun. I wish I could do something like this for a regular content, like reviewing stuff like this. And I, wait a second, I can actually do that. So I, I got myself an HDMI adapter, and I've got a setup now where I'm actually able to capture footage from my phone. And what I'm what I'm planning on doing is just putting out a regular sort of first impressions-ish series. Uh, I'll, I'll put some research into the stuff ahead of time, so I'm not going into it completely cold. But uh, a kind of a first impression series on a whole bunch of different games that are available in the Google Play Store, and by extension on the iOS Store as well. I think that's an important thing to point out is even if you don't have an Android phone, if you're using an iPhone, chances are good you'll be able to play the games that I'm going to be looking at as well. And I'm, I'm going to try and prioritize games that are available on both platforms. And I just think that can be really, really fun. There's a lot of games nowadays. People kind of shrug off the mobile gaming market entirely, the smartphone gaming market. Sort of shrug it off entirely because you, when you think of playing a game on your phone, you think of like Angry Birds or Cut the Rope or Alchemy or, you know, this little, these little like more toys than actual games, right? It's not really a game so much as it is something for you to poke at while you're with, like Squash the Bug or whatever that game was. That's what people think of when they think of mobile gaming. And there's really just some ridiculously good handheld, like, Game Boy Plus quality games. Like, there's some games on that I... Like, Shadowgun. Again, great example. This is a third-person shooter that could stand up to... If it was, like, on a PC or on, a, on an Xbox or something, this is a game that could stand up there with Gears of War in terms of, uh, like, gameplay style and shooting quality and so on. It's just a really, really good game. And the mobile gaming market has matured and gotten better and better and better. There are so many good games available now that I, I really just kind of want to blow the lid off of the mobile gaming market and really show you guys how good these games can actually get. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting out this series on a regular basis. Right now I'm planning on about three to five of these a week uh, where I'm just going to I'm gonna sit down jump into some game, probably one that I haven't played before, because there are, like, there's a freaking ton of games available on the market now. Um, jump down, poke into these games, and let you guys know what I think. Uh, I'm gonna, ex uh, I've actually started to test the idea out a little bit. I put together a pilot episode of this that I'm gonna be attaching to the end of this. There's a few more adjustments that I'm gonna make just based on stuff that I learned while I was uh, recording this, and uh, I've, I've got a couple other ideas I'm gonna throw out as well just to spice things up a little bit. I, I, I do, I do want to make it a fun watch no matter what. So like even if you don't have a smartphone, it should still be something that you can tune into and check it out and, and have an enjoyable time watching it just to you know just to know what, see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attach that. I'm actually gonna play that right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is this something that uh, you find entertaining? Is this something you'd like to see more of? Let me know. Hit me up. Leave a comment below. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now and just go ahead and play this pilot episode. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.
What's up guys, Lore here, and this is Dead Trigger. This is a, uh, it's like a zombie game, a first person shooter sort of game. I'm gonna check it out, jump into it in just a second here. Uh, it's by Madfinger Games, it's available on both the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store uh, for totally free. There are in-app purchases, uh, which I will hopefully get a chance to, I believe there's a shop, I'll, I'll poke around that in a minute. Uh, but it is completely free. You can download it right now on your Android or iOS device. Uh, so let's jump in. Let's just dive right in and see what's going on here. Day one, accidents happen. You've recently met a group of survivors. They have a hideout and supplies. However, in order to earn their trust, you have been sent on a quest. I'm patrolling through the night streets. Your car suddenly breaks down in the middle of the dead city. At least you have a loaded gun and the will to survive. Fight or die. All right, let's check. Check the equipment here real quick. Alright, I've got a, a scorpion, some bandages. Uh, Alright, why not? Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Guns can be upgraded in order to do greater damage. Oh, so that's cool. You can upgrade your guns. That's something I didn't know about. And uh, you can see it's showing off the, uh, the first-person shooter interface. It looks pretty standard. Let's load in here. Alright. Move. Alright. So it's gonna walk us through everything. Good. Good, so I don't have to don't have to explain everything. Whoa! All right, suddenly a whole bunch of stuff on my screen. So it looks like we have a mini map up over here. We have uh, looks like my my weapon probably be able to switch different weapons around up over there as well as how much ammo I have. Uh, this little thing over here is what I use to actually move around. I put my cursor on that. You can see where my my thumb actually is as I'm moving around there. Uh, and then over here we've got the ability to reload. We've got the ability to shoot. I'm just firing wildly all over the place. I can reload, and I can go into iron sights. Oh, that's cool. So there, this I have not seen iron sights before in a mobile game, so that's neat. Let's go ahead and shoot this barrel. Bam! All right. You can customize screen position of main controls here. You can also change the sensitivity of aim area, how fast you turn. All right, so let's check that out real quick, actually. Let's jump into the options here. Uh, control scheme... Free move pad, static move pad, aim sensitivity. Let's turn that up a little bit, actually. Um, left hand aim. Oh, and I can then customize the layout. I can actually move things around. Uh, I'm going to leave everything where it is for now. Let's jump back into the game here. All right, let's get out of iron sights. Objective, defend yourself. Oh, damn. Oh, he's got a Halloween, he's got a pumpkin on his head. So they did just put out an update for this game that gave it a, uh, it was like a Halloween update that they gave for it. That I presume is what the pumpkins are for. Taking these guys out left and right. Yeah, we got nothing, nothing, zombies. Jeez, how many are there? I guess it's a zombie apocalypse, there's gonna be a lot of them. Somebody open garage doors to save you, get in, all right. Let's get over there. Seem to be doing fine on life. Mission success. All right, well, that was the easiest mission I've ever done in my entire life. I guess that's just a tutorial mission, just to uh, help get a handle on how everything plays in this game. So hopefully by now you can tell that uh, mobile gaming is a little bit more than just Angry Birds. So what did I get here? I got a bunch of experience. I got two stars on the mission, probably because I was spending a whole bunch of time standing around. Uh, I got a bunch of money, which I can spend, presumably, to upgrade gear. I was mentioning something about that earlier. Fire accuracy, 43%. Health loss, 0%. Alright, sounds good. Objective completed. You've returned to New Hope. Finally, you can have a proper look around. Is that me on the left there? I'm a, I'm a goofy looking dude. Uh, among the supply boxes and equipment, you see the armed citizens of this place. Men, women, and even children. Their leader, a tall, middle-aged man, introduces himself. Oh, that must be him. Julian says, welcome to New Hope. My name is Julian Lassange, and I want to thank you. Uh, how do I continue? Oh, page two. Uh, for taking care of those people. These are the last remnants of humanity, but we have an emergency right now. We need to move all of the supplies to the second floor and destroy the staircase just for prevention. Can I ask you to guard the rear entrance of the building? Yes, you can. Ooh, there's a casino. Play and pick your daily prizes. Uh, and a bank can get bonus rewards there. Arena. Only hardened or fighters can survive here. 
Daily reward. Okay, so this is something that a lot of games will do, where they give you a, uh, every day you play the game, you get a reward. Uh, what's this? Daily reward. Oh, okay. So that, is this the, the mission I'm supposed to, well, whatever, let's check it out. I think this is the mission I'm supposed to be doing. You can upgrade your character health. Interesting. So it seems like you can upgrade a lot of stuff in this game, which is cool. It gives a very, very uh, interesting progression to actually going through a shooter game. Objective, protect cars for 200 seconds. All right. So actually a little bit choppy there. So what am I... Protecting them from exactly. Oh, probably this guy. Oh, I guess I have a, a mini map that I can be looking at. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Ah, no. So, uh, as you might expect, aiming is not as easy as it is on a uh, on a uh, computer with a mouse and keyboard. Oh, geez, they keep sneaking up behind me. I should probably be paying more attention. Let's actually hide back in this corner here. Down for the camera. Oh, what's that? I got 27 bucks. Go me. Alright, how much longer do I have on my timer here? 2 minutes and 23 seconds. This is more shooting gallery than anything else at the moment. I think that car is getting beat up though. I'm hearing some sounds over there. I'm trying to get over there. They are beating up the car. Get over that. That was close. Yeah, that was close. So. Alright. Maybe hide back in this corner again. That seemed to be working well for me. Yeah, there's one coming up behind me right now. Ah, oh, I missed the button. Oh, there that we was go. Close. Another one. Going to. Oh, he's going to go over there and get the. Let's uh, head over here real quick and just take these guys out. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Sweet job. It's actually terrifying that they're wearing the the pumpkins. It's just creepy as hell. Ow. I'm starting to take some damage here. Oh, there's one behind me. Get down from there. So the, the controls are responsive. Uh, it, it feels a little bit awkward trying to play a, a, a shooter like this. There's one coming up on my right. A little bit awkward trying to play a shooter like this on a phone screen. Because I'm, I'm basically like, I have to take my thumb away from the turn section in order to shoot. Which feels a little awkward. What was that beeping noise? Oh, they're killing the other car. Get off of that. Yeah, they never learn. Is it repairing? Is that what happened? It appears to be repairing. Okay, that's good. Up to 28% on it. Oh, if I stay near it, I repair it. Got it. Okay, that's cool. That's what the little icon means, I guess. The little wrench icon popping up in the middle of the screen. But yeah, I have to actually take my thumb away from the move area to shoot. And you can you can turn while you're still shooting still, so that's good at least. But uh, to not waste ammo, it can be a little awkward. Did that actually... Ow! Oh, get off of me. Oh, what is this? Oh, I successfully fight him on that. That was that was unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. They uh, they'll grab a hold of you, and I had to like uh, click on the different the different like points on his face to push him away. So that was that was interesting. That was unexpected. Mission success, though. I've successfully defended both of the cars. Let's see. Uh, that one car did take a whole bunch of damage, but I think I hit it back to close to 100% before that ended. So let's see how many stars I ended up getting for that mission. I guess I took a bunch of damage, so I probably won't ace it. Three stars. Eh, alright. I lost 90% of my health. That's that's fair. I did kind of get my ass beat a little bit. Fire accuracy, 42%. I wonder what actually goes... Uh, special reward, one gold. Level up, rank two. New goods in shop available. Alright, well, let's check out the shop. Let's take a look here. I can get a, uh, a Colt 1911. A Walther P99, which costs, I guess that's gold, is what that icon means. Uh, I only have two at the moment, but I can get a Walther P99. I have the Scorpion 
e equip. That's not how you spell equipped, but okay. I have the scorpion equipped. Ooh, a Colt M4. That sounds awesome. Uh, so I guess let's, let's see what this free gold is. Oh, it's actually going to load up a, a browser. So that looks like uh, just a way to uh, yeah, download and run different apps. It's something a lot of games will do. Uh, personally, I don't like that very much, but a lot of games will do that. It looks like I'm not high enough level to unlock anything else. Uh, I wonder if everything requires gold, or if I'm able to... Oh no, that only requires money. So there are there are guns that you can get that only require... There's an AK-47 I can get later that only requires money. Okay, so that's good at least. It doesn't look like everything requires that you spend actual money. And I guess I'm able to get some of the, some of the gold in-game too. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. You can get an extra weapon slot. A few hours in the gym, carrying strap, and you could take another weapon with you. Okay, so that sounds like something I'll probably want to get at some point. Extra items, extra ammo supply. Uh, auto heal kit. That sounds kind of OP. I guess it is only a single player game, though, so it doesn't really care too much if you can get overpowered items. Uh, and bandages. Oh, okay, so I, I for totally forgot that I even had those. Uh, I'm able to presumably get some of my health back with that so that's good uh, oh and that wasn't even my uh, my mission that I was supposed to go on that was just a daily daily gold thing let's check out some of this other stuff uh, play and win jackpot is gold 200 spin let's see what happens I won a whole bunch of money uh, what am I actually giving to it is this I don't actually even... Okay, so I guess I have, like, specific stuff that I can only use on the casino. I wonder how I get more of those. Out of chips, come back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, one, four bandages. All right, well, go me. What's, uh, what's over here at the bank? Uh, tap Joy, Unlimited Free Gold. Follow us on Twitter. Five. Okay, so more just little extra ways to get get extra gold to be able to buy stuff. There's my equipment, and that must be the shop over there in the arena. It said I can't can't do anything in. What's it? New Hope. Okay, statistics. This is interesting. So friends, I don't have any friends. Oh, I'm not logged in. So I guess I guess there's ways to uh, compare your statistics to other players. I'm actually really. Let's see if I can't uh, let's create a new user. Uh, wow, this is this is a whole bunch of. So I'm not gonna mess with this right now. We'll worry about that some other time. Let's go on to the main quest, do some more shooting. Yeah. Kind of a dull loading screen, to be honest. I know that's a dumb complaint to make, but uh, in, in other games you'll have, like, at least some sort of animation or something. But whatever. Defend your position for 70 seconds. Alright. It's my position, I'm just locked in. Oh, okay, I can't actually even... Oh wait, no, I can move, never mind. I should probably start shooting some of these guys, though. This may not look like the most amazing first-person shooter ever, but you gotta remember, this is on a handheld device. It's actually pretty fun for being on a, on a handheld device. This is not bad at all. Take out these guys here. Yeah, 27 bucks. Go me. Nope. No, sir. That all you, got? you may not enter. Take this guy out. Headshot. Yeah, racking up the headshot. I'm curious if the... Yeah, it looks like going into iron sights does actually adjust my aim a little bit. So that's that's good, because definitely need aim assist on a... Uh, on a touchscreen device. It is not easy to aim these things at all. Oh, it didn't it doesn't do a ton of aim aiming uh, correction though. So that's interesting. You do still have to actually aim. You can't just spam uh, iron sights to be able to aim properly. So that's good, I guess. Really short missions so far. Not spending a lot of time in anything. I wonder if you get more like longer missions later on or something. Oh yeah, four stars. Uh, I actually felt like I aced that, so I wonder... 
maybe my accuracy has to be higher. I wonder if that's how you get more stars is higher accuracy or maybe killing them faster or something. I don't know. Maybe more headshots. I got a whole bunch of experience and money though, so go me. A turret! Hello! And I've reached rank 3. Oh, and you, you gain gold every time you level up, so that's cool too. You run through the corridor, the infected close behind. The staircase is destroyed, but Julian drops a ladder from the second floor. You scramble up the ladder, not daring to look down, and together with Julian lift the ladder just before the first zombie reaches it. Well done. I had my doubts, but you proved yourself. I would like you to stay with us. Continue. We've been living on our <laughs> that's actually hurting my throat. We've been living on our own since before the outbreak, in a sort of commune. You know the sort, vegan hippie types, trust fund kids, etc. After the world went to shit, we barricaded ourselves here, but more about that later. East of New Hope, well this is kind of, it's like cutting off at the bottom of the screen there. East of New Hope lives a man who has a stock of weapons and various gadgets. We haven't heard from him in a while and I'm worried he might be in trouble. Can you take a trip to his shop and see if everything's okay? Alright, so this sounds like one that might actually go a little bit longer. Get to rock stocks. Whoops. I close that. Alright. Let's run this mission and then we'll call it good. We'll see how long this mission takes. I'm, I'm really hoping this, this one is actually going to have a little bit more moving around and stuff instead of just standing still and shooting things. I had a much longer load time, so hopefully. Hopefully that means more moving. Objective, get to the gun shop. Okay. Zombies! Oh, why are you not dead? Dude wearing an awesome jacket. I'm getting backed into a corner right now. That is alarming. Take these guys out. Alright. Appear to have cleared the area. So yeah, I am doing... Oh, there's a barrel there that I can probably shoot to explode. It's another one. Hello, sir. This is what you get for not wearing a shirt. No shirt, no shoes, zombie, no service. I'm apparently Duke Nukem, by the way. I seem to have a witty one-liner for everything. Down for the count. Down for the count. Oh, there's some money on the ground. Everyone knows that zombies love cash, and apparently bullets, too. Let's just keep moving. I know there's some coming up behind me, but I want to keep moving. Oh, this dude's wearing a, that was close. some sort of, like, hazmat suit or something. <laughs> the pumpkins are hilarious. Semi-terrifying, but also hilarious. How am I doing on ammo? 99 bullets? Alright. Oh, there's one right here. Bam! What's up, son? Oh, you are fast. That was a fast zombie. Damn, really cool. Wonder if they, when they get close, they lunge at you or something. Cool. If that's what that was. All right, area secure. Get to the gun shop. Gun shop. Well, that's a very straightforward sign. the gun shop and mission success oh yeah so so the I guess it is just really short missions I, I wonder if there's gonna be some longer ones later on or something like that would be nice at least to have because I playing shadow gun I played a lot of that game and those were some really long missions but I guess at the same time uh, maybe they want it to be something that you don't necessarily need to sit and play for long periods of time something you can just hop in and bust out a mission real quick or something I guess I can agree with that line of thinking as well Four stars, all right. Well, earned a bunch of stuff, objective complete. Big man with a cigar stands in the middle of the room holding a sidearm. I'm Benjamin Rockstock. You look like one of those new hope folks, right? So Julian sent me to some video, blah, 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 blah. Mark my old hideouts on your map, bring me those things, and I'll make sure you're well rewarded. Damn, that's a lot. That is a lot of stuff to do. All right, well, um, 
I guess we'll go ahead and call it good, guys. I don't, I don't want to go through all of that right now. So, thanks everybody for watching. This is Dead Trigger. It's available, like I said earlier, on the Google Play Store and on the iOS uh, App Store for completely free. You can just download this right now onto your smartphone and play it. Uh, there are in-app purchases that you can use to buy some stuff, but it doesn't look like anything too major. Honestly, it looks like I'm, I'm able to still, at least in these first levels, having a bunch of fun. Uh, actually enjoying this game quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. I will definitely be playing some more of this. So, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks again for watching. My name is Lore, and I'll see you guys later.